video, we're going to be going over how to save network fees. So we're going to transfer some money over uh, from Coinbase into the Qcoin uh, trading account. And then we're going to be setting up a grid bot. Uh, so I usually been setting up grid bots every morning here. I've been doing a test phase over the last couple weeks uh, and it's been going very well. So I'm going to show you guys these grid bots and uh, which one to set up for today um, as well. So the first thing we want to do is save on network fees, which is what this video is all about. Uh, you can see I'm in Coinbase. I'm in my one inch wallet. Uh, I've only got a couple or uh, $20 here, $22.53. So if we go over and log into Qcoin, you're going to go to your wallet. And when you click on wallet, you're going to be shown uh, these different tabs here. You're going to click on a deposit. Um, now you may not see one inch, um, whatever uh, you see here, just click on it. Click on the, on the token here and type in one inch. Okay. Uh, now you're going to see a few different things. You can, uh, when depositing, you can deposit into your main account or your trading account. Okay, so for this, um, this is just going to be demonstration because we're not actually going to use a one inch and trade or uh, send from one inch to one inch. And you're going to see why because the network fee is actually high. So um, there's two networks we can use there's ETH, which is the Ethereum network, or we can use the KCC, which is the Qcoin community chain. Uh, network uh, for this coin okay so we're gonna click on the ethereum and you can see that this is the token address that we can deposit to so we can just click on the uh, clipboard here and copy this address now we're gonna go back over to our one inch uh, coinbase wallet here we're gonna click on send and receive we're not actually gonna send it I'm just gonna show you the network fees uh, once we do uh, move to the next part here so let's just copy in our wallet address and we're gonna click on send all so you can see we've got 22 uh, 39 to send and we're gonna hit continue it's gonna give us our network fee so the network fee here is six one inch all we're gonna do is go over and convert this um, I'm in coinbase.com forward slash converter okay I'll post this in the description so just look down in the description for the uh, link for the converter or you can just google it um, so what we're gonna do is paste in what the network fee would be so we're looking at eight dollars and ninety five cents um, to send this money over okay uh, so we're actually only gonna be getting thirteen thirty nine so let's get out of this and go back over to our Q coin and let's try the next network which is going to be the KCC okay we're going to copy over you can see the address has changed here we're going to copy this address over it's using a different network we're going to go back over to our uh, coinbase and we're going to click on send and receive now we're going to punch in that new address and you can see it ends in 3a and we're going to send all which is 2229 right now we're getting the fluctuation of one inch um, and then we're going to hit continue and you can see it's roughly about the same anyways um, on this network it will fluctuate um, when i did this earlier it was actually four dollars uh, from uh, using this network so um, right now it is the same so we're gonna keep that in mind that we would be paying about eight to nine dollars in network fees if we transferred using one inch uh, so what we're gonna do now I'm just gonna pause the video and I'm gonna go over to my LTC Okay, so we know that we're going to be paying a high network fee if we transfer from one inch to one inch into Qcoin. So um, what we're going to do here is go over to a website. It's called withdrawalfees.com. Uh, I'm going to post this link in the description. It'll take you to the exchanges uh, forward slash Qcoin. And 
Um, this is the withdrawal fees for Qcoin right now. Um, now I'm using this because we're depositing into Qcoin. Obviously it's free to deposit into, but you're gonna be charged your withdrawal fees from the wallet that you're going from. So we wanna save those network fees. Uh, so we're gonna look for a coin that's actually cheap for withdrawal fees on um, Qcoin and use that Qcoin or use that coin uh, to withdraw from either Coinbase or Cryptarium. Um, I've already done the research on this and you can see I'm going to use Light, uh, Litecoin LTC. It charges a low amount here, um, but feel free to use uh, whichever one that your wallet allows you to withdraw from. Okay, Cryptarium has a list of about uh, 10 that I can use to withdraw and this was one of the cheaper ones. Uh, so that's why I'm using LTC and I'm just going to stick to using that with Coinbase for our examples. Um, so. If we go over into Coinbase, we're going to exit out of one inch and go into um, LTC. I do have about $7 in LTC, so I'll be able to show you for this example. Uh, I'm just going to pause the video and head over to LTC wallet. Okay, so we're over in the Litecoin wallet here, and we're going to do the same. We're going to go over to Qcoin and get our LTC wallet address. And then we're gonna do the send and receive. And I'm gonna show you the network fees as well and how much of a difference it's gonna make. Okay, so we're gonna back over onto Qcoin here. We're gonna click on the one inch and we're gonna type in LTC. And you can see under network, it only has the one network. It's the Litecoin network here. Um, and then it gives us our Litecoin address. So we're gonna copy this address. We're gonna go back to Qcoin and we're gonna click on send and receive. Okay, we're gonna punch in our address first and then we're gonna send all. So we're looking at uh, $7 if we sent this. Um, obviously, before I'm doing this, uh, before I actually send the money, I'm gonna convert one inch over into litecoin and then i'm going to send that all over but for now i just want to show you the difference in the fees okay we're going to hit continue and you're going to see the network fee here is a very small amount we're going to copy this fee and we're going to go over to convert ltc to usd okay you can see i've already got this in there and it is a very low amount in US um, for transferring um, Litecoin over uh, from um, the, for the network fee. It's a lot less than uh, paying out eight or nine dollars uh, US. So we're gonna transfer what we have in one inch over into Litecoin and then transfer that over into uh, Qcoin. And I'm gonna do the same in Cryptarium. Okay, and that will give about uh, roughly $45 uh, to be able to set up the grid bot. All right, so this is how we can save on the network fees. Let's go back over and actually we'll get out of this and we're going to actually convert our one inch over into Litecoin. Okay, so we're back on one inch wallet here. You can see 2253. We're gonna click on overview and we're gonna convert. We're not gonna convert one inch to amp. We're gonna convert one inch to LTC. Okay, and then we're gonna hit convert all. Okay, and then we're gonna hit uh, convert now. Okay, we viewed the transaction. Now you can see that we are in the Litecoin wallet and it is at uh, $28.79. Um, so we were charged a dollar to do that and that's not a big deal. Uh, so it's at $21.77 is what we com uh, converted into Litecoin. Now we're gonna take this amount and we're gonna convert it, uh, send it over to our crypto wallet. So we're gonna go back to the crypto exchange and we're gonna do it directly into the trading account. Okay, and we're gonna copy. 
and we're going to go back to Coinbase here and hit send. Control V, paste in our wallet. Double check that it's the right wallet here. And we're going to click send all. We're going to hit continue. And we're going to go back in here and you can see that it, the amount, the network fee is still the same there at 42 um, LTC. So very, very small amount that we're going to be charged uh, to send on uh, the LTC network. Um, could take up to 30 minutes. So we're just going to hit send now. And I'm going to do the two-step verification. I'm going to pause as I'm going through this. And we did our verification. And you can see that we have now sent um, this LTC over to Qcoin. So I'm just going to pause the video now. And when it gets um, into our Qcoin LTC account, I will unpause the video and show you guys that as well. Okay, so we can see that up in the alert area, uh, we've got a message. We can click on that and it's gonna let us know that we've received the LTC now. Uh, so we can go over into the trading account and go down into um, our LTC and you can see that is 2888 USD. So um, paid next to nothing for the network fees, uh, which is very important because we could have easily wasted eight to nine dollars uh, US in network fees um, and it didn't even take uh, a half an hour to get this transferred over so um, definitely worth doing your investigation uh, if you don't want to um, see which other uh, coins pay the cheapest for network for transferring um, then just use LTC it worked great uh, and it is very cheap anyways um, but you could find some coins that are going to be free um, depending on the wallet that you're using so uh, right now we're going to get into Cryptarium I'm going to do the same I'm going to use the LTC network and uh, I'm just going to show you using the Cryptarium wallet um, how I'm doing it over there so I'm just going to pause the video and I will show up here in uh, Cryptarium soon okay I've logged into the Cryptarium account here and uh, I transferred over some Bitcoin I want to show you guys how to um, convert exchange money from coin to coin in Cryptarium and then also uh, send it over uh, to Qcoin as well. Uh, the reason I wanted to show Cryptarium is because you can uh, purchase the Visa card, which is this card right here. I already have it. It's the Cryptarium plastic card. Um, looks like they're not allowing you to, uh, to uh, purchase it at the moment, but I would suggest uh, going in here and when they do allow you to purchase it, purchase it. It's about $14. Uh, you'll have this card sent to you in the mail uh, and then you can just top it up here. They also do have a virtual one that you can use using Apple Pay. Uh, so it's very cool and uh, very easy to top up, put money on here and use it anywhere uh, in the world. So. Um, Let's go back to the home page here and I'm going to show you guys how uh, to take uh, the amount that I've got in here. It's $25 uh, BTC and I'm going to transfer it over to Litecoin. Um, like I said, I just showed you guys why we're going to use LTC. <coughs> For Cryptarium, LTC is one of the cheapest ones that they do allow you to um, exchange to and send. Uh, so we're going to stick with the LTC. And down here on the main page, we're going to go to exchange. And once this loads, we're going to exchange BTC to LTC. So you can see we've got a few of the different ones we can use. Um, I've already gone through here and picked the one of the lowest, cheapest ones here, which is LTC. <clears throat> We're going to hit all funds because we're exchanging this BTC to LTC and then we're going to send it to Qcoin. Okay, we're going to click on all funds and we're going to exchange.
Okay, so we have just exchanged that. And now we're going to go to send. And when we're going to send, we're going to go down to buy wallet address. Okay, and we are going to not do BTC. We're going to go down to LTC. Uh, and you can see we've got 2456 there. There's a little bit left over there in BTC. <clears throat> so they didn't charge too, too much. Maybe a buck similar to Coinbase uh, to exchange it. Now we're just going to put in our wallet address. So we're going to go back over to Qcoin. Go back to our wallet. Deposit. And we're going to select our coin which is going to be LTC okay and we're gonna have remember our trading account uh, just keep it into our trading account and we only have the one network to choose from copy the address go back to Crypterium and control V we're gonna paste in the address we're going to click on all LTC. Okay, now this is what we're going to be sending. And we are going to transfer. And we are going to transfer LTC. Okay. I'm just going to go in and confirm the withdrawal. So I'll put this on pause. Uh, and then uh, once we receive the money in LTC, I'll make the next video, which will be showing you guys how to create the uh, grid bot.